Because it's cost them $150 million. That is because of all of these grounded flights, and it is not stopping as of today. We know there are more than 90 canceled flights here out of SeaTac, and a majority of those, many of those, are Alaska Airlines. To put things in perspective here, Alaska has 65 MAX 9 planes, and inspections take around 12 hours to complete. The airline expects to have them all back in service by early February. Now, Alaska operates all Boeing 737 fleet. It starts its own, it started its own review already of Boeing's production quality. The Alaska CEO told NBC this week they have been happy with the MAX airplanes up until this incident, and despite the troubles this month, they are not breaking up with the aircraft maker, but aviation experts we spoke with said they'll likely be expecting money in return. They have a special relationship with Boeing, and the, and the former CEO of Boeing Commercial Airplanes, Ray Connor, is on the board of Alaska. So there's there are deep ties there, and doggone it, Boeing needs to just sit down and write the check and say, yep, sorry about that. Hamilton expects Alaska to file a big claim to try to recoup those losses. What remains to be seen is what will come next. Will this have any impact on customers? We spoke with flyers who some say they're a little anxious to fly others. They, they feel totally fine at this point. So obviously a mixed bag when it comes to that. Now yesterday, both Alaska and Southwest announced that they'll be receiving less planes than they initially expected. New planes here in 2024. And they say that is because those production issues at Boeing. Reporting live at SeaTac this morning, Drew Andre, King 5 News. Now let's get to